Chapter 17 Lu Huan This is the ex. Let's break up. What? Kang Yan, don't be ridiculous. Is it because I don't tell you that flight was cancelled yesterday? Are you really mad because of that? Come on. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Don't say anything you didn't mean, okay? In it, I'm not joking. Have a look of yourself. What? Who took this? He looks surprised to look that. Does it matter? Forget about it. I'm tired. Bye. Wait. Kangyan, it's all a mistake. Listen to me. I did it for you. Kang Young want to live there and he catch her. For me? You cheated for me? If you like my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. I'm sorry, Kang Yun. I'm so sorry. You know it wasn't easy for me. My parents don't approve of us. They have been introducing me to other girls. My parents were following us yesterday. I had no choice. I did it to fool them. That girl doesn't actually like boys at all. It was all an act. Kangyan, stop crying. You are breaking my heart. I don't want you to be upset. I know this is completely my fault, but being stuck in the middle is also hard for me. If the girl whom I cherish the most can empathize with me and decide to leave, I will be completely lost. Lu Huan, I have never thought of leaving you. You said for your parents didn't want us to be together, so you had to keep our relationship a secret. I have been hiding everything so well, but now things are different. Because I am pregnant with your child. What? what? Kangyan, why didn't you tell me earlier? This is wonderful. Do you have any idea how long I have been imagining for our future? I will be the happiest man of earth if you will be my bride and we can have a couple of little ones. The only thing is we will still need my parents' consent if we were to start a family together, right? Sadly, you have lost faith in me. So had I been the only one who was dreaming of our future? No, you hadn't. I know, I understand it hadn't been easy for you. I also never talk of leaving you. That's why I told you about my pregnancy as soon as I realized I had been understood you. Yeah, I know, no matter what, I will fight for you to be by my side at all costs. It's just if you were to show up now in front of my parents with a swollen belly, they will think you are forcing me into marriage. How about you have an abortion first so we can plan the whole thing together? Alright? But I don't want to lose my baby. No way, so you are that chubby kid who fell into the water? What that future because I saved you back then? <laughs> yes, why didn't you tell me? You have changed so much. I called and even recognized you. You have also changed a lot. Me? How can I change? Have I become chubby? You were fearless 10 years ago. You should even save a stangled life without any care of your own safety. You must have been taught a lot during these last 10 years. You appear to be a scary cat now. Sign, I don't even want to talk about it. I did live an extremely humble life throughout these years. I'm trying to change myself. 
Besides, you really seldom look up to me as your hero. I save you because I want to read them what I had done. Back then, my mom stole my dad's credit and borrowed tens of millions, and then she left us without saying a word. Dad had no one to turn to. He used to frequently go on business trip, so when he asked me if I would be sad if he wasn't around, I thought he was just gonna do another trip. Thought he was worried that I would be home alone, so I replied I wouldn't be sad at all. I didn't expect he would. So I'm sorry, the reason I saved you was to redeem my mistake. At that time, I was angry with everyone who did not cherish their own lives and I took it out on you. Haha, <laughs> that's a lot to digest. In truth, you left your student ID card by the river banks, tried to find you at your school. Well, do you guys know a who went from class A? What? Do you mean that who and who jinxed her father to death? She transferred to another school, probably trying to sabotage other people lives at that new palace. I have been searching for you for 10 years. All I want to say was just a thank you. In this world, I only needed a set of kindness to save me from the darkness. Luckily, I met you back then. Since you said that, now I'm curious. Why did you want to give up your life? Because I had nothing back then. Let me tell you my story. Thanks for watching. See you next video.